Welcome back to another battery test. I have the brand new INR21700 cells in for testing from Nightcore, and these are rated to 4,800 milliamps hours with a peak drain of 35 amps and a continuous drain of just under 10 amps. The dimensions are on the screen. Those are my measurements, so they do conform to the spec. Seem to be targeted mainly at vapors. These are unprotected cells, but there's potential for them to be used in torches and other products later on. You can be able to see with the size, they're a touch longer than some protected 18650 cells, but not much, a fair bit larger than the uh, unprotected LG cell. You also see the diameter of this cell is uh, quite a bit more than the 18650 so that's the reason why we have a higher capacity uh, on this particular battery type and there's also a 2700 as well which is thinner and you can see that the wrap on this is quite thick so it's slightly recessed at the top it's something to note and the actual capacity that they're saying is going to be close to a 26650 cell you can see that this diameter is less but the length is more so the capacity test results were quite close to the rated capacity a bit under but within an acceptable margin of error uh, 4724 4675 on the second cell and the weight in metric 68 grams or if you prefer imperial uh, 2.4 ounces and now chargers that these work in I tried the Nightcore i8 it is a tight fit but they do go in you can see it charging I just thought I'd test a few chargers that I have around to make sure that it fitted them okay also worked in the Xstar VC4 charger and I tried the Nightcore F2 which I use quite a bit it fitted in that no problems at all and onto the Olight magnetic charger because of the design of this it will fit pretty much any length of battery there's loads of spare space so it's quite a handy charger to have for cells like this so that's the overall results on the 21700 cell be interesting to see what they do with this with regards torches and other products thanks for watching and I'll see you soon